Good morning. He is risen. He is risen indeed. Alleluia. Welcome to Pastor John's Fireside Chat, an opportunity for me to share with you a word of encouragement from God's Word, especially as we go through this coronavirus pandemic. I'd like to share with you a reading from the last book of uh, John's Gospel, uh, the last chapter, I should say, and it's chapter 21. When they had finished eating, Jesus said to Simon Peter, Simon, son of John, Do you love me more than these? Yes, Lord, he said. You know that I love you. Jesus said, feed my lambs. Again, Jesus said, Simon, son of John, do you truly love me? He answered, yes, Lord, you know that I love you. Jesus said, take care of my sheep. The third time he said to him, Simon, son of John, do you love me? Peter was hurt because Jesus asked him the third time, Do you love me? He said, Lord, you know all things. You know that I love you. Jesus said, Feed my sheep. I tell you the truth. When you were younger, you dressed yourself and went where you wanted. But when you are old, you will stretch out your hands, and someone else will dress you and lead you where you do not want to go. Jesus said this to indicate the kind of death by which Peter would glorify God. And then he said to him, follow me. If you know anything about Peter's life, you know that Peter denied Jesus three times on the night before Jesus was crucified on Good Friday. Jesus asks him three times, do you love me? Jesus wasn't trying to embarrass Peter. He wasn't trying to humiliate Peter, even though Peter was hurt because Jesus asked him three times, do you love me? What Jesus was doing was reinstating Peter. He had been forgiven, and now he was going to be reinstated into being a follower of Jesus Christ. I love this story because it reminds me that even when I have denied my Savior, and I have through my sinful ways, Jesus is a God of forgiveness. And he says to me, John, do you love me? And if you do, turn away from that which is harmful and embrace the life that I give you free of charge through my suffering, death, and resurrection. He asks us, do we love him? Because we know that he loves us. And he wants us to experience the new life that only he can give us. If you've been haunted by the past, know that you're not alone. A lot of people have been. Peter was. But Jesus is bigger than our past. He's bigger than the sins that haunt us. And he wipes those things away. And then he says, come and follow me. You don't have to get stuck in sin. Because your sin has been dealt with by Jesus Christ. I pray that you will experience the freedom that Peter experienced, that I experienced, that all true followers of Jesus Christ experience. That they don't get stuck in sin, but Jesus pulls them from their sin into a life of faith and followership. Have a great day in the Lord Jesus Christ.